In today's video, we're gonna take our FT STEM Easy Orbit design and blow it up to a massive size and take it out for its maiden flight. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. We got a fun new project today. We're out here flying, having a great time with our newest STEM release. It's called Project Easy Space Flight. This is gonna be a project all around space, has a really cool feature on Bernoulli's principle, but also has three cool new designs here that we're playing with now and having a lot of fun, and you guys will be able to as well. One thing we wanna do is we wanna blow up one of these to be super sized because they fly so good in their small form, we think it'll be even more hysterical in their large form. By the way, it's still flying. <laughs> Look at it, just still coming towards us. <laughs> uh, we got three different designs here, and the one I think we're gonna have some fun with this time is gonna be the Orbit here. The Orbit is probably by far our slowest. <laughs> so cool, look, I'm sorry, I don't wanna talk. <laughs> I'm so, I'm floating around with John. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So the Orbit is by far out of the three of these, the slowest, most fun to look at, fun flyer here. And I wanna go ahead and make this absolutely huge, and then we're gonna put it up in the air, but this is currently only operating off of just two motors. It just uses left and right thrust and more power to climb. We want to actually add servos to be differential thrust, pitch control, yaw control, bank, everything, just to see how capable this model is and then see what we can do with it. Pew, 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 <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Don't judge me. That's cool. Yeah, they actually look like spaceships. Good hit you. Oh. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Ah. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> oh, yes. oh I'm, I'm flying inverted. <laughs> I knocked out inverted! How is that possible? Uh, <laughs> where am I? Oh, there. I forgot where I was. You got I'm me, John. Fly upside down. I couldn't flip back over. That's all you need to know. All right, fun's over. We had some fun flying. Our next step is we're going to blow this up absolutely huge. We're going to add elevators, differential thrust, all the cool features, and then we're going to see what we can do with it. We got plenty to build. So the first thing that we actually have to do is blow up the original plan to the size that we want to build it to. Next, we have to cut it out. Building this giant orbit is very similar to how we built the giant paper airplane. First thing that we have to do is we have to tape and glue all the hinges together to get the general shape of the plane. Next, what we have to do is we have to glue the formers onto the main body and start shaping the wing. The project really didn't take that much time. The majority of the time I did it by myself, but then at the end, my dad jumped in and helped speed the process along. So what what makes this different from normal planes that we usually build is it's more like a flat out plane where it's very flat surfaces and it kind of hinges together kind of like a puzzle piece. Another unique thing about this giant orbit is it has this giant big hoop. Now we built circle planes before but this is a different kind of circle plane. So this plane is going to be powered by two CPAC motors and one big elevator. We're going to use differential thrust to turn it side to side and use the elevator to go up and down. So this thing is getting really close to flying. It came together really quick. Let's put some batteries on charge and let's get this thing flying. So while they're in there making this crazy giant airplane, I want to take the time to tell you about today's sponsor of this video and that is Raycon. So if you don't know what Raycon is, Raycon is a company co-founded by Ray J, a popular music and R&B artist. Artist, and they're a company that offers wireless earbuds at an affordable price, especially compared to other types of earbuds on the market. So Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns. They're super comfortable and come with a variety of fit options, which is really nice because not everybody has the same ear canal. Like mine is super small, Alex is super big. It is what it is. You can make them your own. So one of the best things about Raycon is that they start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And celebrities like Snoop Dogg, J.R. Smith, Mike Tyson are all obsessed with the Raycon brand and the earbuds. Also, Raycons are great for working from home, working out, listening to music and podcasts for hours upon hours. Whatever you need them to be, they'll work perfectly for your lifestyle. So one of our favorite models is the Everyday E25s, which is their best one yet, with six hours of play time, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors, which is always fun to be able to add accessories to in terms of what you like, what colors you like, and your style. I personally love them because I don't have to mess around with wires and all this other crazy stuff while I'm working out, while I'm running around doing errands, while I'm playing with my kids. 
it, there's nothing to get ripped out of your ear, right? It stays nice and fit in there. It's got noise isolating, which is great. And they just work really well with everything that you're doing in your everyday life. So the coolest thing about all of this is that you can go down in the description below, click the link, which is buyraycon.com slash flight test to get 15% off of your Raycon order. That's 15% off your Raycon order right now. If you go down there and click that, you're not only getting a sweet pair of earbuds, but you're also helping us out in everything that we do here at Edgewater on the channel and for the community. And so big shout out to Raycon for sponsoring this episode and for you guys watching. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. And now let's get back to seeing what they're doing with this crazy giant airplane. Gosh, it's a lot heavier. That I don't know if we're gonna be able to launch it, like without power. It's gained a lot of weight real quick. Also, how's it gonna land? Well, I mean, the other option is we just go for broke and we just send it. <laughs> we don't know how to launch it without breaking it. Oh, um, you know, do we want to just take it out the window? I am. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Uh, How do you feel about this, man? Dude, I was like 80% confident because a little orbit with like no elevator control or anything went good. But trying to see how they're gonna figure out how to launch this thing gives me doubts. And then wondering what the increased weight gives me doubts. But if it flies, it's gonna be so cool. It's weird. It's just like, it's an awkward thing to hold when it's this big. And then when it's huge, it takes two people and it's gonna be interesting. All right, dude. So we got them out in the field there. We yes, got we a do. little bit of a uh, crazy wind direction. Yes, we do. So they're launching it across the field. Alrighty. And I don't know. Are you ready? Happen. Are you no, ready, sir? No, no you're I was not. so ready this morning. But this is gonna be fun. Okay, you guys ready? It does nothing. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. It flew! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened? I'm just happy we started today, not tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Hey, Chris, I think we need more power. Oh my gosh. So right. what happened? Was what, How's the power? Was the power? The power flight? was lacking. So okay. I remember Alex's fatal words and stuff. Man, you always make things really, really big. And I was just thinking something smaller. <laughs> think he makes very big planes with the smallest wings and motors possible. Yeah. Uh, which to his credit, normally he pulls it off every time. But it always makes me nervous every time, none, nonetheless. Well, the cool thing about this plane, it knows nothing but drag, and that's exactly what happened here. Mm. CPAC motors is what's currently on it. We're gonna go to monster motors. And we can start off at like four or five cell, and then we can go all the way up to ludicrous. So that was that was really an overwhelming failure. Um, but what we learned is we didn't have enough power, and I had absolutely no uh, bank at all. It just immediately listed. So now we gotta figure out a way to, to get the differential thrust to work better. But also, I think I need some roll on this. I think we're gonna add ailerons. So in typical fashion, I built something way bigger than the motors would actually support. And also I had absolutely zero control, unfortunately, because I didn't have the thrust going over the control surfaces. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go from two C motors, which put out, you know, roughly about maybe four pounds each, to two monster motors, which put out about 12 and a half to 14 pounds each, which should have no problem giving us the power we need. At this point, my only concern is, is will this airframe actually support that extra power and extra weight? On top of that, keeping the kind of the original design where we had two motors working with differential to turn us, and then the elevator to give us pitch control. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut in two extra aileron controls. I'm gonna program all three of those together to be able to work as elevators and then elevons as well. So what we did is, first of all, we added monster motors. That's a big upgrade from the CPAC motors. <laughs> Second of all, we added ailerons and I'll let my dad explain how they work because he programmed them to when he gives right, it gives right and a little bit elevator. So it kind of dips into the turns. We also added a little bit of a uh, little bit more structural rigidity. Uh, rigidity. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we had some carbon fiber rods. Nice, can't go wrong with carbon fiber rods. It's something we've gone to a couple different times here. We had to mix, I wanted to mix elevons and I wanted to mix elevator together because when we tried the first time, it just didn't have a lot of power. And I wanna make sure if anything, I have pitch authority. So if everything goes bad, I can at least take it as high as possible before crashing it. But also I wanted ailerons to work too. So this portion here, this portion here is working as elevons. This portion here is working as an elevator by itself. So here, I'll power it on. When we pull back on the stick, everything goes up. And then when I give ailerons, this is what we get. Um, it reminds me of like a, have you ever seen those weird fish? It looks like a hybrid of a lobster and they have like the little tiny 
things on the back to go through the water. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like a later. lobster's butt, but those little tiny side things that they kick around yeah. to like maneuver. It's like doing the weight, look at that. So, and also being responsible, I went ahead and put this on a separate BEC, so all the voltage from a three cell battery goes to it. That way, if I'm really going nuts, it's not gonna brown out the whole machine and, and cause us to crash. All right, so the Orbit came together super quick. I'm actually super surprised how fast that thing came together. And it's ready for its maiden flight. So we're heading out to the field right now. And as you can see, the plane looks amazing. But before we get out there, I wanted to ask you guys, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that free subscribe button. It really helps us out a ton. We're making crazy videos and doing projects like this all the time. And by you hitting that subscribe button, it helps us out way more than you would ever know. So if you like our project videos and you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe. Also, leave us a comment if there's any kind of big projects that you'd like to see as big build and fly leave them down there we'll be hanging out in the comments and so I am very excited about how this is gonna go regardless of what happens it's gonna be spectacular so let's do it well, the funny thing is is once we launch this we're gonna have to figure out how it flies and then we're gonna have to try to come up with a plan how to catch it before the battery runs out because we just don't know what to prep for, whether we're just going to plop it, whether we're going to have them catch it. All right, how you feeling about this, bro? Well, considering that Noah just said, hang on real quick, do you have some tape? Because the spar in the center of the airframe just came loose right literally before we're about to launch it in the air. I mean, I don't know. I have, I've been editing, so I haven't seen like the progress they've been making and stuff. So really don't know what to expect. This thing is just wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> What's your percentage? I need a I need percentage. Percentage of uh, success. flight success? Yes. Ready? Uh, Off the top of your head, go. 45. Okay, all right, <laughs> just below half. Below average, okay. <laughs> Win the day. Yep. I'm just excited to chase this big chicken through the air. All right, are you, are you ready to launch the giant rubber chicken? Yeah, because it's literally falling apart as they're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a giant flying rubber chicken does sound cool though. I think we have our next episode. All right, you guys ready? All right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna. Last thing, I'll have some pretty good throttle to it, okay? You ready, Alex? Yep. Oh, man. Yep. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Is it controllable? It's controllable! You're only flying about half throttle too. <laughs> it flies just like the tiny one. Yes! Go oh go my go. god! Go. That gives me so much joy. <laughs> what a difference! Oh my go. No. Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. Look at that it's thing! It's one go. of the coolest, slowest things I've ever flown! <laughs> it's barely moving. And you know what? The ailerons are real anemic, but the uh the motors. The motors are what do it. Really? Just like the uh, the small one. The differential? Yeah. Holy Sick. Cow. <laughs> Holy cow. I want I want to do a loop so badly, but that should do, probably be for later. Do the final. Do a final. <laughs> I can't believe this is flying. Look at my hands. <laughs> His hands are, <laughs> His hands are freaking out right now. Oh, he's so hard excited. To fly. It's just that cool. <laughs> he's so excited he can't feel his hands. I'm not flying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> look at the power. Oh, Alex, how does diamond. it look from your from your angle? Uh, it looks like a, a super chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you call it the thunder chicken. Oh my gosh. Once you point to the wind, it nearly stops. I have, It looks like a spaceship. Like I mean, this is hands off, slow. guys. It no went way. from totally unflyable to absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's just say, I never thought it would actually fly this good. <laughs> I, I'm being honest right now. I never thought it would fly this good. <laughs> Should we take it for a little pass? Oh, yes. Are, are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This is gliding, by the way, guys. All right, let's make sure I don't hit my friend Chris. Remember, I can't see anything. Yep. I got you. Oh. Just oh. like the real oh. one. Oh. 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 No way! You're going <laughs> vertical! To the moon! You're going That's vertical! That's not even full throttle! <laughs> <laughs> high speed pass or the low speed pass? 
That's, yes. I don't know if it holds together at a high speed pass. Let's see how, how it goes. It's slowly dropping vertical. There's the, oh, oh, you know what'll happen? What? I think the, uh, I think the hoop will collapse on itself. But you know what, if you guys want a high speed pass, we could do that. Yeah, I mean, you still Actually, got- you know what, before I go down, let's do a loop. Yeah, loop yeah, and yeah. Rolls yeah. And stuff. Oh, I like this. You guys ready? Yeah. It's loop at three, two, one. No way. <laughs> That's so cool. I have oh my gosh! Do we save it or do we push it to failure? Oh, we want a high speed pass, right? Oh yeah, just watch out for individuals. Yeah, <laughs> the high speed is just slow. It's going into hyperspeed. <laughs> and straight up. Have you tried rolling? Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yes! Oh we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oh my god! Yeah. That's awesome! It's a great airframe! I can't believe it works! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness! This is so cool! Okay, well, guys, challenges, come on! Okay, um... How about inverted? Oh boy! <laughs> So we, we have probably about two more minutes on this battery. Maybe one, but we'll find out. You want inverted? Yes. Yes. All right, let's try roll first. Oh. <laughs> oh. Slow, 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 slow time. There's inverted, you can't tell, it looks the same. <laughs> are, are you okay flying like that? I had, to, I had to use rudder to help me, but. How is it flying upside down? Not the best, but it, would, it did it. I mean, I was just happy if it would fly for five seconds. Oh my. <laughs> uh, All right, guys, so we're probably gonna need to land it. So Noah, yeah. Yeah. let's see if I can toss it into you and Chris's hands here. Okay. All right, so More power. Down. No, you're fine. More power. Yes! Yes! It's still alive! Yes! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Exhilarating! How did that live? That's hilarious. <laughs> Great catch, Noah! Oh my gosh. All right, so friends, here's the thing. I don't think many of you are gonna wanna build a big thing like this, but a lot <laughs> of you can learn and enjoy the world of flight through the little tiny Easy Orbit, which is gonna be so cool. It flies amazing, just like this, except for all the other sketchy stuff. And uh, check it out, the link below. It's gonna be releasing really soon, along with all of our other amazing FT STEM curriculum. That was awesome, dude. Oh my. Nicely done. <laughs> it's still pristine. I can't believe it. We build like real airplanes that come back all in shambles. <laughs> This thing sure doesn't even make sense and it's perfect. That shouldn't have lived. There's no <laughs> way that shouldn't have lived. So friends, make sure you subscribe because we are not done with this. It's still in one piece. I think we need to take Chris's advice here. We need lights, we need a paint job, we need streamers. We need to make people think they've seen some kind of UFO on steroids. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think we could really do it up and have a lot of fun. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And until the next one, we'll see you guys see next you. time.